Solari and finally David Beckham. Big miss, big name missing there, big name and a big man. Player who's not made it, it's had a recurrence of a thigh injury, Ronaldo. Yeah. How vital could that be at the end of the day? It could be enormously important. Real Madrid, even when they play well, Real Madrid just lack that little bit of decisiveness with Ronaldo out. They've not had a great run when he's missed games. Obviously, this game, though, is... The laws almost go out the window for this ball. Well, there's the Barca fan uh, team clapping the Madrid supporters, and you can probably hear the reception Barcelona have had there. Not the warmest reception you likely get in the in the Spanish Primera Liga, and, and there is the man, Paul. Ronaldinho. Probably, I would say, possibly the most exciting player, at least in Spain this season. Yeah, absolutely. Let's have a quick look at the Madrid substitutes as the Madrid team come out under the pitch to their traditional hymn, and the fans making a, a white mosaic, which is a um, very spectacular. Not a lot of colour contrast, but very impressive. Madrid sub Cesar, Borja, Portillo, Guti, who's lost his place in the side. Nunez, Mejia, who's been struggling with injury, and Juan Fran, the um, right-sided midfield player. So, um, looking at the bench, uh, Madrid, they'll be hoping not to have too many more injuries there, because Mejia struggled all week. Absolutely, Madrid, Madrid don't have a great deal in reserve. To be honest, tonight, nor de Barcelona, although it would be very interesting, very interesting indeed, to see if Luis Enrique got on the pitch tonight, Paul, because Luis Enrique, of course, is the Barcelona player who used to be at Real Madrid. He's sure to get an extremely hot welcome look if we that. see him so tonight. Talking of hot, it's a lovely day here, about 25 degrees, and look at that wonderful aspect the ground's giving. Completely everybody here holding up their mosaic. Their mosaics. We can give you some uh, results from earlier on in the day in the Primera Liga. Espanyol 3, Atletico Madrid 1, Malaga 1, Deportivo 1, Betis 2, Real Sociedad 1, Valladolid 1, Mallorca 3, massive result for Mallorca. That puts Valladolid in real trouble. Celta 1, Osasuna 0, disastrous result for Osasuna. They're chasing Europe. Saragossa 4, Seville 4. Racing, Racing 0, Albacete 2. That really puts um, Racing in relegation difficult. It certainly does. Great result for Albacete though, and there's Villarreal 1, Murcia 0, and the other big, big game of the week to be played after this game finishes here in Madrid. Athletic Bilbao 5th against Valencia. Valencia really need to win in Bilbao. Bilbao going to the game knowing, however, that they can really almost seal a place in the UEFA Cup. Referee tonight, Perez Burrul from, uh, San, from Santander. Uh, he's refereed Madrid 16 times in his career. Um, as I said, Real Madrid done a fantastic record with him. Five draws. Oh, sorry, five wins, seven draws and four defeats. So it's certainly not somebody you could call you could accuse of favouring Real Madrid. No, absolutely not. And of course, that's quite a hot topic at the moment after last weekend uh, when Madrid got what seemed a dubious goal given in their favour against Atletico. And then Valencia had the referee very much against them on Sunday. And those are the big two in the Champions League. Lovely to see that. Ronaldinho and Roberto Carlos with a bit of a hug before the kickoff. All eyes will be on Ronaldinho tonight. There's been a real backlash in the media over the last couple of months saying Ronaldinho is the great player in Spain. And I tell you, I tell you, he has been absolutely sensational this season. Just see Ronaldinho there in the middle of the centre circle. Hands on his hips. You can't really see him. We're not focused too closely on him. Hands on his hips. He's had his eyes pointing up skywards as he's taking in the atmosphere. I think he's somebody who's really going to enjoy it. And if Ronaldinho enjoys it, I think everybody tonight is going to enjoy it. So, Barca get kicking off. Reisiger and Saviola exchanges passes that to Carlos Puyol. Interesting to see how Puyol lasts, actually. He's had a couple of injuries over the last few weeks. Straight away, though, Madrid attacking. Mitchell Salgado. It's a good ball there over Raul. As Solari and Victor Valdez getting his first intervention. 23 seconds on the cross of Madrid. Lightning starts of the game. Yeah, it's actually a very, very slack pass from Carlos Pujol. Solari sprinting away. Um, Solari's been a magnificent player for Real Madrid this year. Still, still fundamentally the number 12, the guy who only comes on when there's someone missing. But virtually whoever's missing, it's Santiago Solari who comes on. They don't really need to get him a shirt. They just paint number 12 on his back. Yeah, so. absolutely. I'm surprised he hasn't got a tattoo on it. Except, of course, when they play away, he'd have to change colours, which might be a little complicated. There he goes, OK. Foul given there on the near side. As Roberto Carlos brought down Marc Overmars, Barcelona. Getting that ball out there is Ronaldinho, of course, who was close to becoming a Real Madrid player at the start of last season. Um, they asked him to stay another year in Paris Saint-Germain. He didn't want to wait another year. He decided instead to go to Barcelona, and I think how grateful are they in Barcelona that he did that. Absolutely. There's been some rather unfortunate comments in the press this week come out from uh, from an unnamed source at Real Madrid. Let's Ooh, just see what happens Toku here. caught napping there, but a little bit slack there. Cambiasso, who's in midfield today, um, but a big debate about Madrid's central midfield. Um, Guti's tried and really... Beckham doesn't play that well with Guti. I think they, just, they find himself doing too much defensive work. 
Last week, Elguera played when they won in the Calderon, and that looks like a good, good, better partnership. But with Mejia suffering muscle problems and Pavon being suspended after getting sent off last week, Carlos Queiroz has decided that Elguera has got to go back into defence, and he's gone, interestingly, for Cambiasso, a player who will probably be leaving the club in the summer, whose contract expires in June, rather than Guti or Borca, the youngster. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's, it's, it's been a slightly controversial decision in the heart of the club, because, of course, Cambiasso doesn't fulfil that model of the president of, of superstars and, and players from, from who can be bought up at the club. Here come Madrid again. It's Luis Figo this time. Looking to take on Ronald. David just skipping past him. Good battling there by Giovanni Van Broncos. Concedes a corner. Beckham will be taking. No hair, David Beckham. In New look for David Beckham, exactly. He came back. Um, he was in England at the beginning of the week for a party with Victoria, and he came back with his hair shaven off. Whether that was in penance or not, nobody knows. Oh, I wonder if it was to try and try and prevent what happened last week happening to him again when the Atletico Madrid players spent the match pulling his ponytail. This is a bit naughty, isn't it? It's nice warm weather now in Spain, as everyone in shirt sleeves in the stand. Probably a good idea to get your head, sh your head shaved. Here's Solari to Roberto Carlos. That's a good cross from Roberto Carlos. But, it might have gone but out it's bit, already, yeah. already curled out for a goal kick. Yeah, we were saying before, Paul, that there have been some unfortunate comments in the, in the Spanish press. There is. There, there is Beckham. Uh, in the Spanish press about Ronaldinho this week, coming from an unnamed source at the very top of the club, who claimed that Real Madrid didn't buy Ronaldinho because he was too ugly. And that with someone like that, they couldn't really advertise products and sell products. Something which, personally, I, I disagree with. I think he's, I think he's an excellent... See now for the adverts that Ronaldinho's exactly. taking part and, and in the last And they're, the last they're few fantastic weeks. adverts, and, and, and he's, he's got real charisma. What he doesn't have, of course, is the looks of David Beckham. There was a the comment from this Real Madrid uh, high, up, high up person at Real Madrid, we don't actually know who it was, was that with David Beckham, the whole world wants to be with us. With Ronaldinho, that wouldn't have happened. I'll tell you what, though, on the pitch, Oof, anyone who turns down Ronaldinho is an idiot. Puyol uh, stretching, couldn't quite get a foot on that, but the ball going right through to that man, Victor Valdez, the youngster who's basically made the Barca goalkeeping jersey his own this season. Well won that header there by Raul Bravo. There's Xavi Hernandez, who has really also come into his own since the arrival of Edgar Davids. He's uh, been able to push forward Xavi, he's able to do a more attacking role and, and to find those gaps in opposing defences. Yeah, his change of position has been absolutely vital. And as you say, he's been liberated by the arrival of Edgar Davids. It's enabled him to play far further forward, where his passing and his, his vision, particularly those little angled passes through the gaps, have been so important for, for Barcelona, and particularly for this man, Saviola, who's really, really benefited from that change. Certainly has. Saviola, before when Patrick Kleibert was on the substitutes bench for playing Barca, were hitting longer balls to Clive, who was playing with his back to goal. Pushing Savi forward means they can really look to push the ball into spaces and rely more on pace. Um, yeah, they're, they're, they're people scurrying like, runs, the ability to carve through the defence. People like Saviola, Ronaldinho, of course, and Luis Garcia, who's unfortunately just, just picked up a late training injury, as we said earlier on, have really benefited in the last, well, the last second half of the season. Luis Garcia, especially, who looked a little, little boy lost in the first few months back at the club. Oh, well Here is Xavi. Saviolo, who's yet, who's yet to score against Real Madrid. Over Mars. Good turn there. Not a bad cross out, but well cut out, though, by Cambiasso. Zidane. Turning inside, Koku. Raul just caught offside there. Yeah, I think he was. The advantage. Saviola again and Clan Figo. Oh, the crowd appealing for throwing for Madrid. I think the crowd are right, Paul, to be honest. I think, I think Figo bashed that against Saviola's legs and it went out. The crowd not too impressed. It certainly looked like one, didn't it? Yeah. Here's Davids. Again, Mr. Perez Burul penalising Real Madrid for that little late tackle there on Edgar Davids. Frank Rijkaard, a Barcelona coach who's done such a good job this second half of the season. There were a couple of times when he looked as if he was one defeat away from losing his job, but I think he's um, basically pretty much assured of staying on here next year. Yeah, some credit too to the Barcelona president Laporta, who even went for the Over Davids, looking for Saviola. And Ica Casillas climbing well there. Yeah, even when things were going badly, Jean Laporta, the Barcelona president, was insisting time and time again. Frank Rijkaard is staying at one stage, I think, just a couple of days before everyone expected Rijkaard to get the sack. He, in fact, turned around to the press and said, Rijkaard is a phenomenon. He will be our manager for the next, well, at least for the rest of his contract. And uh, 
Sure enough, Barcelona then started going on this great, great run. Overmars, it's a good ball in from Reisiger, but Ike Casillas there with the edge of his six-yard box to, to claim that, and that's an intelligent throw out to Raul, who's playing as a lone forward tonight, really. Um, Zidane pushing up and Solari giving a bit of balance to Madrid. Raul is probably not at his best no, when he not. plays as the, as the lead, lead player. Absolutely, he's not an out-and-out -out centre forward. He's not really a number nine. It's Puyol. Being hassled by Raúl, being fouled by Raúl. Pérez Burrón, long way off the play there, but given the free kick. 78,000 people here in the Bernabeu tonight, absolutely sold out. I don't think any tickets even went on sale to the public. No, none at all, none at all. Uh, too many um, too many requests in there, too many... They know, obviously, there's all the tickets are going to turn All the tickets, anyway. any spare tickets have gone to supporters, clubs, or to season ticket holders or to guests basically yeah. um, if you if you got one in the street it would probably if you'd have been paid four or five times over face value for this game absolutely in fact the game made even more desirable by the fact it's not actually being shown live in spain open television it's a pay-per-view game so yeah. it's made it even more even more exciting to be here in the game tonight i think people have been looking forward to this game for a long long time oh, absolutely i know, I know. And bizarrely enough as well, I mean, we were talking about Ronaldinho earlier, I, I know a couple of Madrid fans, uh, season ticket holders here, who have been excited all year because of the possibility of seeing Ronaldinho, crazy though that sounds. He's the guy they would love to have here, as well as all these other Galacticos. Here come Madrid building again, Zidane, certainly to be inspired in a game like that, and that's not a bad ball there for Cambiasso, Esteban Cambiasso. Raul collided with Puyol, crowd asking for obstruction, Raul doesn't look very happy about it, but you'd really want to see that one again. Let's have a look. Well, if anything, I think it's Raul for fouling Puyol in the other way. Yeah, around. That, that was certainly my thought. Um, it's a clever pass from Cambiasso, a very nice little angled ball. I, I think Raul ran straight into Cambiasso. It's a good ball there, Solari. Puyol. Perez Puyol, where we play on. I'm not so sure about that decision. No, no Solari. Be interesting to see that one again. Well, eight minutes here in the Bernabeu, and already we've got controversy as Puyol seemed to bundle over Santiago Solari as he does a jump for that bouncing ball. As it is, Perez Burul hasn't given anything, and Barcelona attacking through Mark Overmars. Overmars, well cut out. Cambiasso again, working back. Crowd voicing their disappointment on, on Perez Burul. Let's have a look at this one. Well... I think it might have been a little, what the Spanish called, a little rigorous if it had been given, but I tell you, it might have been enough. Oof, Xavi, I, uh, there's not a lot of con Puyol jumps against him, doesn't get a lot of contact on the ball. What he doesn't do is he doesn't use his arms at all in the challenge. No, that's true. And there's Xavi having a right foot effort, that's two or three yards wide of Ica Casillas there. Wonder in... in in instances like that, how much the referees think about what happened last week, and if that really is pressuring them as well. Perhaps, perhaps, yeah. There is Ronaldinho, yet really to get a decent touch of the ball. Davids. Here's Ronaldinho now. Lovely little in inside pass to Van Broncos. But Van Broncos, Giovanni Van Broncos, just sending that little bit too far ahead of him. So with Elguera to clear that. Farah Zidane. Zidane and Cambiasso has been very active so far. Setting away Figo on the right. It's Figo against that Van Broncos. Done well, Luis Figo. And gets the crossing. Very, very well. Brilliant game from Puyol. Roberto Carlos couldn't quite control that. Can Zidane? What did Zidane do there? And Roberto Carlos. Well, they're all at it at the moment. But here comes Ronaldinho, another man who's. I think at the moment, so far, Mito Salgado has stuck very, very close to Ronaldinho. And to be honest, in terms of man-to-man -man marking, Salgado is probably the best player Madrid can put on, definitely. He's quick, he's hard, he's good in the air, and he doesn't really take any prisoners at all. Absolutely not. Here's Zinedine Zidane, he's to Roberto Carlos! Left foot shot there from the Madrid fullback. Didn't quite get the sort of contact on that he would have been looking for. No, it turned out to be an absolutely dreadful Let's shot. Have a look at this little flick from Zidane again. Oh, no, back to that's the Roberto, Roberto Carlos, Carlos shot. shot which, uh, which wasn't quite what he intended. There is Zidane, that was a great flick, Roberto Carlos. Or if he may have been a little bit better just trying to turn and shoot there rather than carry on the flick, but what a great little touch there from Zidane. Well, that's been looking a wee bit tired in recent games, but everybody is absolutely fired up for this game on 
on both sides. Yeah, Zidane already has looked, looked quite sharp a couple of times. Surprisingly so, because as you say, in the last few games, he has looked very, very tired. There is David Beckham with his hair freshly shorn. Or shaven. Well, if he was a sheep, it would be shorn. <laughs> Great ball, Saviola! Can he control it? Ooh, Javier Saviola got in there behind Raul Bravo. First just touch, just letting him down there, allowing Ike Casillas to gratefully clutch onto it. Foul there. Figo brought down in the middle of the field. And Broncos taking his marking job all the way across the pitch there. Let's have a look at this. Not much question about that one. Yeah, I think it was just sort of falling into him, wasn't he? Yeah, come to it again. Figo. Lovely little dummy there, Zidane Zidane, that's a first-time cross. Well blocked by Oleguer, corner for Real Madrid. Twelve and a half minutes gone on the clock, it seems it was just gone flying by. It's a corner, that's not a bad corner again! Well, Paul, I'll Raul tell you Bravo. what, Raul Bravo probably should have scored. There he is, that man Raul Bravo got in there. Didn't quite get the contact he'd have been looking on. And let's have a look at this. That's a great corner. Because he didn't have to do move Co a great... <laughs> couple of yards there. He's inside the penalty spot. He's got two yards of space there. Jumps well, but doesn't get that contact that he'd no, been looking and for. And he knows it. He knows it. So that magnificent corner from David Beckham. Raul Bravo only really needed to take a step back. And I think he was just trying too hard to guide it down towards the post. Ended up ended up skewing it wide. Um, yeah, I think he'll be very, very disappointed with that. Madrid so far being the better of the chances, it has to be said. Possible penalty claim and Tamman Solari went tumbling, tumbling down. That Raul Bravo header. Shot from Solari in the first 30 seconds is a um, good start from Madrid, and I think they really need to show because they've not been on great form in recent games. I remember, if you remember two weeks ago, they lost their home here 3 0 to Osasuna. They're a little bit fortunate against Atletico Madrid. They really need to stamp some authority on this game. They do, and as you say, they've not been great. The press has started talking about a crisis in Madrid. Obviously, crisis Ooh. when you're still in with a chance to win the league, it's not really a crisis, but, but things relative, have looked pretty poor. Saviola. Oh, he's done very well there. Done well. Hassel by Cambiasso. Two young Argentinians there, Van Bronkost to Ronaldinho. A little flick from Ronaldinho there. Saviola, here's Ronaldinho again. Good battling from, from Vigo. We've seen, that, we've seen that, I mean, I think actually Salgado was very unlucky to get penalised, but I think we've seen there that Salgado will stick very, very close to one another. Every chance he gets, he'll be in there. Let's have a look at this one. I don't actually think there's a foul there. A bit unlucky there. Yeah, um, very unlucky. Well, he thinks it's funny, at least. Puyol. To Xavi. To Reisiger. It's a good ball from Reisiger to Mark Overmars. Little space there, Overmars looking for a good cross. It's a ball back, looking for David's intelligent pass, but not quite well directed. And there, uh, David Beckham did very, very well coming off David. He certainly did. It's a good break there. Intelligent ball from Overmars, but just not quite in the right place there for Edgar David. His chavi. Ronaldinho <laughs> trying a little flick with his chest. Ball's won by Figo, blocked by David. Was it handball? No, says the referee. Or at least not, in, not intentional. Solari, on tight there in the right in the midfield half. Raul Bravo, intelligent ball out from Zidane. Good ball from Zidane. And there is Michel Salgado just taking the ball over the halfway line. Three players around him. Salgado has still got Zidane free. Zidane onto Cambiasso. Good ball from Cambiasso to Solari. Solari not quite reading um, Raul's intentions there with the ball running back to Victor Valdez. Santiago Solari, as we say, is always the first change for Real Madrid. And if anybody's injured, Solari goes in on the left. Or in the middle, or left back, or, or up front, or wherever, the, wherever, wherever he goes. And, and wherever he goes, he plays very, very well. I think I've only seen him play poorly once this year when he was played at, played at left back up in Bayer Leith. And, uh, and, and he got absolutely destroyed. But fundamentally, because he had no support from midfield at all. David keeping the ball in the far side now. That's a nasty uh, little tackle there from behind. Well, actually, I, I, I think Beckham's a little unlucky because Beckham chased him all the way. I mean, and when you challenge from behind, it's always difficult. It's always risky. But I think Beckham got the ball. Though. I don't think there's any malice in that challenge from Beckham. He says he, we, we, we tend not to see Beckham make malicious challenges, yet, and sometimes it's just. Let's have a look at this. 
So I think that's the ball. I mean, it goes through. It goes through. It's a second. It's this right leg that just seems to follow through, though, and does the damage. And yeah, Perez Burrell hasn't booked him. I think free kick is about the limit of it. I think that's a surprisingly good decision from a Spanish referee. I think normally Spanish referees, whenever there's a challenge like that, they um, have a little laugh there with Ronaldinho. I don't know what language they're having a laugh in. The language of football, is it? David certainly seems to have uh, felt it. I'll tell you, compare the atmosphere in the ground today with the one that was two weeks ago, as we didn't go, were beaten by Osasuna when it was quiet, there were people booing after 20 minutes today. The whole Santiago Bernabeu Stadium is buzzing. It is a really, really good atmosphere tonight. It's almost a sea of white, it's as if the Ice Age had started here. Only in nice weather. Only in nice weather. If it wasn't for 20, 25 degrees. <laughs> 25 degrees, yes, thank you very much for reminding me of that one. See that? Yeah, That's a little yeah. bit slack there. Roberto Carlos conceding an, an unnecessary corner. Which Xavi is moving across to take. Yeah, in front of the only bit of the ground that's not a sea of white, where the, most, most of the fans among the ultras are wearing black shirts, as, as they tend to do. Xavi Hernandez with a corner for Barcelona. He is Xavi, that's not a bad corner. It's a very good one. Ronaldinho gets up, but like, his, like Raul Bravo at the other end, couldn't quite direct that header between the posts. Yeah, it's a better jump than Raul Bravo, he needed to jump a lot more. It's one of the amazing things about Ronaldinho, he's a, he's a creative playmaker, he's a genius with the ball, and yet he's a real battler as well, he's a, he's a, he's a fantastic athlete. I mean, if we get the chance to have a, a close-up shot on some stage, you see the strength of his thighs is frightening. They he's absolutely... Huge. He can, really can jump, as we've just seen there. He's certainly built like um, something very strong. <laughs> Cambiasso winning that header, doing well, setting Solari away. Here is Solari, Raul hugging the end of the line, trying to avoid the offside. As it is pulling plays inside, giving space to Luis Figo. That's a good cross from Figo. Reisiger, full stretch, just knocking that one away from Ra Roberto Carlos and Overmars right back in defence. Done a good job there, the Dutchman. Don't know if Reich had a bit of a good job. Yeah. Tell you what, Dribbling away now, on this Saviola. He's now pulling off to the right, taking that pass from Xavi. And here's Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho, good tackle from Mitchell Salgado. Nurses Perez Puru. <laughs> Salgado jumps in the air and waves his fist. I actually think Salgado is right. I think he's a little unlucky there. I think every Madrid player raised their arms in protest at that one. There you can see Figo having a little word. I don't know if there's a lot of contact on the ball there, though, in no. fairness. I think it's probably a correct decision. But just. Only board, just. borderline, wasn't it? Well, dangerous free kick to concede here. We've got Ronaldinho, who's a set-piece set specialist. We've got Van Bronckhorst, who's very good with his left feet, with his left foot. Overmars can strike a good ball from there. Xavi. But they've uh, got to get it past that man, Ike Casillas, first. I think the position it's in, slightly, slightly to the right-hand side of the area, implies a left footer. But, but we've seen this so many times before. When Ronaldinho takes this kind of run-up, it means he's taking it. Unless he's trying to fool them. Uh, Ronaldinho takes a very, very careful run-up. It's almost like a field goal taker. One, two, three. And there's and a, a sideways run. It's a big sideways run as well. Wall is very, very close, though, isn't it? It's I expect the... that to swing round Figo's side of the wall, maybe to this near post. I think that wall is way too close, though. That wall, yeah, well, the rep, but Epuro agrees with you. He's it's meant to be 10 meters, oh, 10, 10 yards. Telling, so. telling them to go back now, anyway. Well, maybe not gone. so much the wall as Roberto Carlos, who's just hanging around on the edge of it. There is Ronaldinho thinking about it. Looking at that wall, creeping forward every minute. 100%, 100%. That's a, that wall is about five yards away. Roberto Carlos. Corner. Jumping forward, that wall was about four yards away when Ronaldinho took that free kick. Um, yeah, it crept and crept and crept and crept. <laughs> and Pedro Puro had already pushed them back once. They went, yeah, yeah, OK, OK. They went back, and as soon as he looked away, he said, little pitching steps, little pitching steps, bit by bit, and Ronaldinho couldn't, uh, couldn't get it over uh, them. Absolutely no room to work with no, that. No, none whatsoever. Xavi taking the corner. Well cleared, though, once again. Roberto Carlos getting the head on that. He's the smallest man on the pitch, probably, but he got that with his head. Reisiger. Here on the near side for Barcelona. Once again to Xavi. To Reisiger. Looking good, Barcelona, the last few minutes. That's a good ball. 
Good clearance as well, though, by Raul Bravo. David, take a David. Like a terrier in midfield. Xavi again. Roberto Carlos. Just catching Xavi once again, no intention in Perez Burol. Same play on, good ball from Beckham. Just getting a little bit too much flight on it, though, and that's over on the far side. That man, Michel Salgado, couldn't reach it. Barcelona free kick. Nearly 22 minutes here in the Santiago Bernabeu Stadium in the great classic, the game of the millennium, as they're calling it here. Still Real Madrid nil, Barcelona nil. You're watching it live in high definition on World Sport. Zinedine Zidane, now to Figo, back to Zidane. Brilliant skill there, Figo going down, Perez Burrell doesn't want to know anything about it. That was a dive. It's not going to right. There. That was a dive from Cambiasso. Surprising to see someone like Cambiasso dive, to be honest. Saviola. Overmars. Chance again. Chance once again to use his pace. Inside to Saviola. Xavi. Crowd don't like it. And it's the booing Barcelona's possession of Perez Purul. Uh, better both, I would guess. Xavi. Ronaldinho. Oh, it's an intelligent pass, but it's well read though by Cambi by Bravo. You can see us clearing Vas getting some good possession these last few minutes. They are. It's, it's just not quite falling for them to have a real genuine chance though. Uh, I almost wonder if Barcelona are a little vulnerable with this much possession to get caught on the break. Um, but they, they they are they are certainly starting to turn the screw a little bit. Victor Valdez now taking all the time in the world. Possession's the name of the game for Barcelona. Doesn't really want to have to hit, hit that one long. He has done, though. There's Ronaldinho losing out to Elguera. Back with Van Bronckhorst. Saviola. To Ronaldinho out on the left. Intelligent ball from Ronaldinho all the way across to Reisiger. That's not great control from Michael Reisiger. Yeah, just took that a little bit long and forced himself to hurry into the pass. Yeah, it's interesting, Paul, just how deep Real Madrid are playing. And not just how deep they're playing, but, but actually how tight their lines are. Um, by which I mean that they've got the four at the back who are playing very deep and very flat, very straight with each other. Roberto Carlos is normally a little bit in front, but he's not. He's playing as an orthodox left back at the moment. And Beckham and Cambiasso are sat just in front. It's giving Barcelona, even though they've got the possession, giving them very, very little chance to actually create space and find anything. We saw Saviola pick the ball up there and have absolutely nothing but white shirts in front of him. There's Beckham. Good ball over to Figo. Who's Figo? Good work on the overlap there from Mitchell Salgado, but it's read by Davids. Davids. Oof, there, Mitchell Salgado. I think that is a foul, and there's no complaints and about that. I'll tell that you, one. that probably should be a booking. Mr. Perez Burul keeping his hands in his pockets for the meanwhile. The thing about Roberto Carlos today, that is, yeah, that's a bit of a nasty tackle there from Mitchell Salgado. I think that's probably a booking. Is that, um, Obviously, someone like Overmars, who is lightning, on the few occasions that he's fully fit, he's probably one of the quickest <laughs> yeah. players in the league. He's, he's virtually never fit, but when when he is, uh, he's very, You very can't fast. allow him to to exploit any space. No, you can't let him have space behind, so, so Madrid needs to play that Ooh, little deeper. Xavi has a lot of things there. It's Beckham, David Beckham! Ooh. Just wide, and Valdez is right-hand post. That was a good chance for Madrid, actually. It was, it was. Actually, David Beckham didn't get as good a contact as I expected. I also expected him to open his body out and play it a little bit hard, a little bit harder and higher with the instep, uh, with his, with the instep, rather than hitting it with his laces as he did. We had Figo on the outside there, Beckham as well. Decent effort, but but didn't hit it quite as well as I, I expected him to. Ronaldinho getting a flick on, but there's no one there except Raúl Bravo. Sends that one back to Casillas. That's a nasty ball for Casillas, just bouncing on his wrong foot. Keep it as well, actually, side, siding that one out for a throw in. Yeah. It's a little bit ruthful there, he can see us, but he's right foot to keep and that ball just bounced up in front of him as well. Carlos Queiroz in the middle bench looking nervous. I think the whole stadium's a little nervous, Paul, isn't it? This is so, so important for both sides. Especially with Valencia playing later on tonight. And a game that they could quite easily lose as well against Bilbao. Oh, against Athletic, I think, it's a I think, difficult um, game for them. I think most Madrid, most Madrid's players were saying after they beat Athletic on Madrid last week that, uh, that they thought it was a great result to keep themselves within a point of Valencia, depending on what would happen the following Sunday, the, the following day, uh, which in the end Valencia drew 2-2 because they were pretty much counting on Valencia not winning in San Mames tonight against Athletic Bilbao. It's a terribly, terribly difficult trip. That Madrid themselves lost their 4-2.
absolutely hammered they were. Yeah, they were, they were. David, yeah, and this time, Perez Purol blowing a free kick at the other end of the pitch. David's disagreeing with that one. And um, correct me if I'm wrong, Paul, but this is David Beckham territory. David Beckham territory, it's Roberto Carlos fit territory, it's... Um, yeah, I think that's a foul. Zidane territory, it's Figo territory. Six yards outside the Barcelona penalty area. This is um, David Beckham has not scored a direct free kick in the Santiago Bernabeu all season. What a time to do it. If he was to do it tonight, there will be lots of English journalists keeping their fingers crossed at this very moment. 27 minutes gone in the Santiago Bernabeu stadium, and there is that man, David Beckham. Literally, I don't think there's too much doubt that it's going to be Beckham. He's the one that's really caring over the ball. Roberto Carlos is behind there, but I think this is Beckham territory. This is in all Beckham's favourite position. Here he is, David Beckham. Beckham Ooh. over the bar. Yeah, in the end, quite a long way over, I think. And that guy there's called it. He's happy with himself, and he punches it back. Very generous of him. A little, little nod of the head there from Beckham. Shake of the head. Actually, that's quite a long way over in the end. Yeah, he picked it, he slipped afterwards. I wonder if he just slipped just as he took the free kick. Doesn't look very happy with things there. Uh, maybe he needs to change his boots. Once again, Ronaldinho up well with the header. And Elgarva doing well. Did a good job on Ronaldinho so far, Madrid really denied him the space that he looks for. Yeah, okay. I, I sort of ex expect Ronaldinho should perhaps drift inside a little bit to get away from each other, like other, look for a little more space. I'm sure he will as the game progresses. At the moment, I've been surprised how much he stayed over on that left wing. Because he's so decisive that he really should be all over the pitch. Both coaches go for a tactical, tactical decision this evening. That's not a bad ball, well controlled by Reisiger to Xavi. He's got, Ch he's got Reisiger with him. Chooses Rice instead of Overmars. Looking for Overmars to make the run there, Reisiger. Instead, tried to pick out Saviola, but had the ball robbed by Zidane. Yeah, I think both Xavi and, and Reisiger were a little unsure of their ideas there, both of them, when they got the ball. Here come Madrid again, but losing it quickly. It's bow bouncing about there. Davids right. to Ronaldinho. Now he has a bit of space. Ronaldinho taking on Beckham. Ronaldinho! Good effort. Because he is supposed to punch that one out. Yeah. Why wow, that shot up from absolutely nowhere, Ronaldinho. Is David pushed that one a bit far though, allowed a bit of control for Michel Salgado. Was the obstruction? Yes, there was indeed, says Perez Burol. Free kick for Real Madrid. Salgado and Ronaldinho have a little, little handshake. Beckham taking the free kick. Sending that one long. Koku jumping against Zidane, the ball bouncing around in no one's land there. Chabi there quickly. Slipped by Cambiasso, but it's still Chabi Hernandez. Got Overmars outside him. There is Overmars on the ball. Mark Overmars thinks about taking on Roberto Carlos. Thinks better of it. That's a good ball in there. And Ronaldinho. I think that's got, you got to put down to good defending there from Richard Salgado, who got himself in between the Brazilian and the ball. That was a dangerous cross from Overmars. Yeah, Overmars always looks so vexed about things. He actually produced a very good cross there. Ronaldinho crosses himself. Um, couldn't quite reach it, reach the cross from uh, from Mark Overmars. Um, as you say, Michel Salgado has tracked Ronaldinho really very, very well indeed this half. Another long free kick from Ica, Van Bronckhorst winning that battle against Figo. Figo taking a little bit of a dive there, hoping for the free kick. Saviola, nice, nice ball there, Xavi. Xavi Hernandez and Ica down at full stretch, holds on to that one though, Ica Casillas, and that's important because there was Saviola, the rabbit. Yeah, Chavi didn't actually get very good contact on it, to be honest. He, he, he looked at it was again as if he wasn't completely sure about his options. But I tell you, Barcelona starting to starting to get on top a little bit. But we're talking about Real Madrid. Yeah, and Madrid unfortunately without Ronaldo for them. And sometimes Madrid can do this, not play well, and Ronaldo will pop up and score. Yeah. But remember, Ronaldo isn't on the pitch today. They're 24 goals in the Primera Liga. And how many points has he won for Madrid this year? Popping up from nowhere to score. I feel a little sorry for Ronaldo. At the start of the season, he. he he promised he'd score 35 goals. He was well on course for it. Just he's had a couple of injuries that's ruined it for him. He might not make it now. And yet his goal scoring record this year has been absolutely phenomenal. Oh yeah. And he has been the different. He has been the play, the one player I think who's been yeah, responsible without. for Madrid's title challenge. Without a shadow more so of a doubt. than your Beckham's or your Zidane's really. Much more so. Much more so. Without a shadow of a doubt. Good he's play been. there from Cambiasso. Done very well there, the Argentinian. Picks up Michel Salgado. 
Salgado's got Figo outside him. There is Luis Figo. That is just getting deflected. Oh, that's a brilliant, brilliant clearance. <laughs> so Carlos Puyo. My goodness, that was a fantastic that clearance. Handball? Just going against Edgar David's hands there. Doesn't have done much about that, David's, but. Another free kick, this is probably in Roberto Carlos' territory. The other one was Beckham's land, in Beckham's land. I think Roberto Carlos will fancy his chances here. Yeah, I mean, it's quite a long way out even for Roberto Carlos, but I think what he'll try and do is keep it low and very, very hard, and then perhaps Madrid will look for the rebound off, off Victor Valdez, and especially if, if Roberto Carlos can get this to bounce fairly early. Mind you, Beckham looks to be looking at it, you know, and it wouldn't be the first time we've seen him score from this far out. There is I would have thought Carlos Beckham would probably screen, prefer it from the other side, when they're both, they're both over this. There's Valdez, not quite sure to be taking this after the shirt with Roberto Carlos. It is Roberto Carlos, Valdez! That's it, that's what I was, I mean, if Valdez had dropped that, I think this is part of the idea, is you, you get three men straight in on the keeper, not only do they get in his vision, but they wait for him to spill it, and if you hit it hard, it's very difficult to trap that. Very good handling there from Valdez, he bounced in front of him, and he did very well to keep both hands on that clutch it to his chest. Yeah, and we've seen tonight, the pitch, the pitch does look very lively, a little bit hard, actually. Because it's been pretty warm and sunny in Madrid the last four or five days. And if it's not been watered heavily... Absolutely, exactly. It'll mean it's quick and hard. Zidane. It's a good ball. Raul Figo is miles Raul. offside. <laughs> Raul went so early. Yeah, they made it so, easy. So early, made it very easy for the Barca defenders he there. Did, yeah. And he, he went so, so early. And Figo, Figo in the end had no, virtually no choice but to play it to him anyway, but I think he probably played it half knowing, half knowing that, that it wasn't going to make it to him. Oof, a bit tired and tidy there, Ivan Elguera. Free kick now at the other end now, Barcelona taking it quickly. Well, I don't know what's going on there, the referee's called it back. I'm not, I'm not entirely clear why. Well, well, not at all clear what, what the reason for that was. It's a very intelligent free kick. I mean, if somebody had asked for a wall there from Barcelona for the distance, then surely he should have been booking somebody according to the rules. Otherwise, he shouldn't be... And, and if he hadn't, then, then the referee should, should be up. Yeah, yeah. As it is, it's Xavi. Elguera's hand? I think it hit Elguera's hand rather than Elguera putting his hand out, though. A couple of timid appeals from the Barca defence. Uh, Ekodavis did very, very well there. Chasing back alongside Luis Figo. Is the referee good? I think the referee might have given a foul. No, no throwing, no, throwing. Throw little gesture from the ref there. I'm not sure if Figo didn't have a couple of elbows, though, Davids, before that. Davids did very, very well. No, throwing. They're trying to take a free kick. <laughs> Mr. Perez Burol. I think Beckham quite fancy the idea of slinging that one into the box. Solari, well blocked by Puyo, who concedes a corner for Real Madrid. There is David Beckham going down there to the near side. Well, they've, great, they've looked reasonably dangerous on corners they have, so far. Very dangerous so so far. let's see what they can do. We've got Roberto Carlos supporting him. There is Beckham, that's a dangerous one. Valdez gets a great good punch. punch on that, under pressure. Saviola helping clear it. And there, David, only as far as Salgado. And that is going to bounce over for a goal kick. For, a minute, shows... for a minute there, I thought Victor Valdez was actually playing a little bit of a risky game, letting that one bounce. Yeah, yeah, it just shows how hard the pitch is, and that bounced and bounced probably two yards over the over the bar. Yeah. Incredible. Whereas when I saw Valdez backing off, I thought, oh, hang we, on we, a minute. It would have been the um, goal of the millennium if that had gone in, I think. As it is, still 38 minutes gone in the Santiago Bernabeu. It's still Real Madrid nil. Barcelona nil, everything, everything to play for in the in this magnificent football ground, packed to capacity, 78,000 people, 800 police watching over things today. Really a very, very big display of support, of security. The Madrid press area is full, there's probably about 500 journalists who got accreditation. It's definitely the game, oh, of the, it's game of the season. It's enormous. And not just for the game, what is between this rivalry between these two clubs, but for the outcome that could be for the league at the end of the day. Here comes Madrid again. Figo, Zidane, Zinedine Zidane, Valdez. That's a terrible miss. Oh, that's a miss there from Edna Carlos. Oh, my, my goodness. God. How did that not the go The ball's still in play. Still in play. Figo's done well, Valdez. Oof. 
Well, I think about this, just the wrong moment there to have an attack of the Sheiks. Well, my goodness, my goodness. Valdez made a dreadful mess of the first shot, but what an amazing recovery I to thought, get back. I really thought that was And then Roberto gonna... Carlos absolutely leathered that. Was it... And Carlos Puyol put was his head Puyol in the way. on the line. Still not clear. Oh! oh! Just shaving past the post. I think that went off someone's knee. I think that's Figo's knee. Goodness gracious. Well, that's been um, a minute and a half of high drama in the Bernabeu. See how it starts. Here's the corner. So it's Luis it? uh, Figo, I think, who just gets a touch on that, full stretch. Here's the one before. Valdez stops it, really makes a mess of it. What a brilliant reaction there to say from Raul. There you see him leaping again, Roberto Carlos. And um, it's a miracle that, I tell you, it's a miracle see that, that Pujol's head didn't come off with it. Just so well that's, that's a great Valdez. Block. That's a great, great block. And here, Roberto Carlos, I thought that's in a Pujol. Goodness <laughs> gracious. That, killed, that would have killed a few brain cells, I think, there for Pujol. Yeah. Although he does have that kind of protective mop around his yeah, head, yeah. which may have helped. They can pass it on at the other end. Xavi. Mark Overmars. Absolute drama. This game is taking off. Overmars. Doing well here, Overmars. Not a great cross, though. Raul Bravo able to clear it. Here's Puyol. Battling against Raul. Raul winning, the, winning that battle. And again, doing very well, Raul, against Puyol. Puyol parting him over. Stumbling over him, the result of that is a Real Madrid free kick. Two or three yards outside the box. It's a great position for Beckham. Liz. Beckham, Beckham. Madrid will load the far post and Beckham will sling it in. Right Whip, let's have a look at this. Puyel, yeah, well, just nudging back Raul in the back a little bit. Maybe Raul's halfway on the way down when that yeah, happens. I, I, wonder, I almost wonder if Raul was leaning in. When he fell, I but you're right. I mean, before Puyol 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 was exactly the way exactly, did very really good. well there. That this, is, this is a very, very dangerous position. You can see Beckham whipping this one in low, getting an in swing on, on the far post, and they All Madrid will overload that far post. All he needs is a little touch here, or even the near post. Beckham, there we said. Oh my goodness! I do not believe that. That oh is no. absolutely incredible. That has happened so quickly. I think some of the Madrid players are saying that actually crossed the line. It'd be interesting to see what on earth happened as it is Madrid keeping the pressure on. Perez Burrón going to have a, look, a word with his linesman. Let's have a look at this. There's a booking there. I don't think that goes in. Is that Figo, Figo header? I don't think you can say clearly if that goes in. Let's have a look. Beckham whips that one in as we said he would. Valdez gets a hand on that. Figo heads it. That's a brilliant save. And again. Valdez once again gets a great save in there. Van Bronckhurst clears it. I don't think it may or may not have crossed the line. I, if I was laying my life on that decision, I'd say it didn't. Yeah, but it was very, so very quick. Exactly. I don't think the linesman, who would also have had Valdez's body between him and the ball, there's no way you could call that virtually, in. Virtually impossible to tell. I mean. Oh, that's good work from Solari. Asking for obstruction, not given. Figo was adamant. That's one thing we can say. Figo, who of course was stood right in front of him, was absolutely adamant. And obviously footballers are very good at appearing adamant in front of the referee, but, but Figo was, was adamant that that had gone in. Adamant, of course, it was reckless in the 80s. Yeah. Barca, Philip Cocu foul there, just allows Barca to breathe easy for a couple of seconds. I'm sure they'll take as long as possible with this, yeah, Raul barging in there. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty clear that the foul there is from Raul, not the other way round. I think Raul does that very intelligently, he does it very often. Um, Did it against Valencia? You know, leaning in, exactly, and, and, and actually drawing the foul so often he gets it his own way. Barca, the rattle at the moment. They, they are, they were on top just ten minutes ago, and now Madrid they Madrid just had those two absolute, incredible goal now, scrap scrambles, and somehow Barcelona have survived them. As it is, here's the ball with Overmars. And both of them, Paul, came from, from slightly ropey handling from Victor Valdez. Right, that's got and to on be both occasions, there, he redeemed himself with amazing saves, but... Risky. There's Cambiasso, he's got Roberto Carlos on the outside. Madrid looking to make the advantage tell. That's a good ball from Broncos. Just getting a header on there as far as Mitchell Salgado. Left him Mitchell alone. Let him alone after Figo got booked earlier a minute ago. Not a good ball though from Frey. Wasn't a bad one. And there, Raul. Just getting a look at the deflection. Over the bar. Mr. Valdez got a goal kick for Barcelona. Really gave Michel Salgado a little bit too much space there, Barcelona. Let's have a look at this again. 
Figo gets ahead on it, Valdez palms that one out. I don't think that's over the line. Very, very difficult to tell. It's very difficult to tell. Elguera, Elguera went up with his hands up and, and so did Figo. Figo was the most uh, adamant of the two as opposed to Adam and. Offside, Raul just stepping back from an offside position to collect that ball. Oleger. Wasted. Once again, Madrid getting the possession now. It's really been a game, just game of swings and roundabouts. Each, each side threatens to get on top, and the balance swings the other way. Barca on top. Now it's Madrid, and that looks like it could be... Let's have a look what Mr. Perez Burul gives. I think there might be a card for this one. Free kick for Real Madrid. It's all again. Yeah, and uh, yeah. I think he wouldn't caught, have been... Caught Beckham's right foot, didn't he? Just a, it, looked like, it looked like Beckham was going to get away with it. Was he was going to be able to jump enough. Mr. But... Ball only made sure Beckham didn't get away from him. I think a yellow card would not have been unjustified there. No, I think I think there probably should have been a yellow card there. Raul is furious. I think he's still talk, talking about the earlier one. Uh, the one that possibly went over the line, which we can't possibly tell from, from the angle we're at. Um, both. Roberto Carlos wanted to take the free kick a bit earlier, waiting for that ball, ball to go back a bit deeper. Once again, Beckham and Roberto Carlos. It's Roberto Carlos fires that one in, that's not a bad one. Oof, and that just missed Figo, who's lurking on the far post. Corner for Real Madrid, Barca think it's a goal kick. Taking it quickly, Madrid, that sharp thinking, Zidane. It's robbed by Overmars, and as far as Figo, though, here's Figo looking to get a shooting position. It's done well, Zidane. Zinedine Zidane stepping on the ball, thinking about what to do, conjuring some magic, the Frenchman. Kurt crosses that into Solari, Solari blocked by Reisiger, still Solari though, and Reisiger! Michael Reisiger getting that vital block in there, another corner for Real Madrid. Madrid really turning the screw A minute now. and a half before the break, Madrid looking for that. And how many times have we seen Madrid score just before the break Looking well, for that Paul. goal they probably think this pressure deserves. And this time it's Zidane gets a flick header on. Just far wide of the Barca post. Well, these last five or six minutes have been all Real Madrid, and I think Carlos Queiroz and his players will be wondering how on earth they're not taking the lead here. So look at this last one. Good corner. Zidane just gets a flick on and starts crying out for somebody to attack him to yeah. attack the far post there. Absolutely, absolutely. We really needed someone on the back post, but... Barca breathing again. Ronaldinho, impressed very hard by Mitchell Salgado. Forcing Ronaldinho to play back to Van Bronckhorst. Giovanni Van Bronckhorst into Carles Puyol. Puyol to Reisiger. Little breathing space here for Michael Reisiger. To Mark Overmars. Koku, four Madrid players around him. Really motivated tonight, Real Madrid. It's a good ball though from Reisiger. Xavi Hernandez making an intelligent run around the back of the defence. He's got Overmars. It's just taking a little bit too long there, perhaps, over Mars. David, oof, terrible shot, but not a bad pass. Ends up lasting. Falling to Ronaldinho. What's he going to do? David, that's a bit better. But straight at Iker Casillas. We're into, extra into injury time now. What has absolutely been a heart. <laughs> well, there's not a moment to think at the moment. Heart stopping 45 minutes of football, especially the last 20 minutes. End to end, Real Madrid have had chances, Barca have had chances. Here's Luis Figo, Figo! Into the side netting. How this game has absolutely taken off. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, Perez Burrell probably given his all time to breathe by blowing the half time whistle. 45 minutes of absolutely pulsating football here in the Santiago Bernabeu. Barcelona started off down, Madrid got back got on top, Barca got on top, Madrid are on top. Off him, the ball bounced up onto the crossbar on the second one as well. So Raul's been in there, it just hasn't quite fallen dead right for him yet, and he's, he's looked a little bit off. As much as anything else, what's really been striking is how often Raul's drifted into offside positions. And, and actually, as you said uh, when we were looking at the stats there, Pedro Burrell has not given as many offside decisions as he might have done if he'd been watching Raul a little more closely. As it's turned out, none of those have been major decisions anyway. No, exactly. There's Javier Saviolo who's yet to score against Barcelona, against Madrid, sorry, the, the little Barcelona striker who's had a good second half of the season. Edgar Davids 
putting his specs back on. I like to see that. Yeah. I like to see a footballer in specs. It makes, it makes the rest of us four eyes feel much better about ourselves. Well, indeed. Perez Burul, uh, the referee from Cantabria on the right, having a few words with Roberto Carlos, probably explaining some of the decisions. A couple of decisions he gave didn't leave Madrid over happy, but I think possibly one of the most controversial earlier on was a possible penalty against Solari after Puyol. Was it Puyol, I think, jumped into him a little bit? Yeah, it was... It, it was one of those that's so borderline that you can kind of see it going either way. Probably in a game of this magnitude, most referees would, uh, would quite frankly, uh, not have the nerve. Right, well, Madrid, especially after that like, recent um, discussions about the refereeing question, Madrid are underway, playing the ball around the back. It's Roberto Carlos to Zidane, Zinedine Zidane, Lincoln with Roberto Carlos. Here is Roberto Carlos storming through, and ooh, vital clearance there from Oleguer. What a, well, they started the first half with a great chance, but didn't they started the second the same way? That really was a steaming run from right Roberto away. Carlos. I, I'm quite surprised he didn't actually shoot. I thought he should have shot, to be honest, especially the way he hit. As it is, Madrid still keeping the pressure on Zidane. Advantage given, and there is Beckham just firing that over the crossbar. Zinedine Zidane picking himself up, having a little ruthful smile. Carlos Puyol just bringing him down. I don't think there's any great... Well, actually, looks like a real dive there looks from like Zidane. Looks like a really... Almost quite embarrassing dive, that. It's, it's unlike Zidane as well, he's, he's not one of those players who tends to dive. Um, a bit of a surprise, that. Ronaldinho once again with Michel Salgado right on top of him. No space at all for Ronaldinho tonight. And there, Roberto Carlos storming in and hammering that ball out for throwing. Which Van Broncos has taken quickly to Philip Cocu. Cocu, it's a good ball to Savioli if he can control it. But bravo. Well done, Bravo. Very, very I was going to say, getting back in the right place at the right time. Just to steer that back to Casillas. Now Madrid attacking again with Solari. Doing well, Solari to hold off Overmars. Campiasso. Round of applause for the Madrid fans as they team keeping possession. Figo just skips past Ronaldinho. Still Luis Figo, a little bicycle kick. And then a pass out to Michel Salgado. Solari can have a go on his left foot. Solari does well, and Valdez holds on to that one. I think there might have been a, just a little jump in the hearts of the Barcelona defence there as that ball went to Valdez. We saw him hold one very well like that earlier on, but of course those two chances <laughs> before the end of the half came I wonder, I wonder if Carlos Queiroz has passed the word for some of his players to just try Valdez out with a few long shots. Yeah, I wonder if he has, because it would make sense. David Beckham. Atmosphere building here in this Santiago Bell, about 78,000 people and Philip Cocu. I think Cocu was a little unlucky there. Just penalised for a foot up there with the challenge. But he's let himself get caught out. Yes, Figo, that's a good tackle there from Van Bronckhorst. Oh, that's a poor decision, I think. That is him. a poor decision. I thought that was an excellent tackle from Van Bronckhorst. And actually, Van Bronckhorst was forced into it because, because Cocu was complaining about the previous decision and Madrid was sprinting away. I, I'm not sure that's a foul. Figo. Just a, let's have a look at this. There's absolutely like no doubt that he gets the ball there. Yeah, just because you hurt someone doesn't mean it's a foul. Yeah. As Van Broncos says there, I got the ball. Yeah, absolutely. I, know, I think he's very unlucky. So, Roberto Carlos and Beckham once again. Taking position over the ball. Beckham thinks about taking it quickly. Doesn't. But Roberto Carlos fancies chances well, as well of four. having seen the way those two chances came 30, before the half-time. 30, 35, 40 yards. But if he hits this on, on the bounce... We've yeah, seen yeah. what Victor Valdez has... Uh... It's difficult for keepers at the best of times. It is Roberto Carlos. That's a storming <laughs> shot. That is an absolute pile driver from the Brazilian. And a good response there from Valdez. Tipping yeah. that ball over. Tipping it over in a rather unorthodox sort of way. His arms were all over the place. But, but he got it away, which is what really matters. It's the corner curled in. Oof. Davids and Van Broncos getting in each other's way. Another corner, Figo will be taking it. Well, Madrid starting off in the ascendancy. They've already had eight corners to Barcelona's two. Really, Madrid carrying on where they left off before the break. It's Figo. Not such a good corner this time. It's cleared by Van Broncos. Mitchell Salgado going across the throw in.
ball boy taking his time there, and that's not a not that great distribution from the good ball boy there. No, 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 he's um he's had a nightmare the lad. <laughs> Salgado to Figo, who's Figo to Mitchell Salgado. Ivan Elguera. Good battling again from Mitchell Salgado and a crunching tackle from David. Only as far as Zidane! Well, we've seen him score those spectacular volleys. That wasn't one of them. That wasn't one of them. We got good contact and just couldn't quite keep the ball down there. Here you have a look, a look at this Roberto Carlos free kick, which really... Actually, I don't think Valdez can have seen that, can have seen that to quite late, because it just passes over Pujol. Frank Reichardt pacing around in front of the, um, the dugout. Nervous moments for the Barcelona coach as we're five minutes into the second half. 50 minutes gone of the game of the game of the I'm going to say the game of the year because game of the century just seems a little bit over the top. But even the if we game are only four year, years into it, even if we're four years into it, who knows what the future holds? Uf Valdez. Oh, <laughs> well, considering considering the way he was panicking earlier, that's unbelievable. That's remarkably cool. cool from Victor Valdez. Good ball, excellent ball to Solari from Zidane. And there is Valdez in his near post. I'll tell you what, Paul, in interestingly, just as that, as that move was, was playing there, I have been very, very impressed tonight with Esteban Cambiasso in the middle of Real Madrid's yeah. midfield. He's held it together, hasn't he? He's yeah. given that balance, that defensive. And this is the guy that Real Madrid don't want. Uh, <laughs> well. I mean, there could also be the fact that he knows it's going to be his last move with Barca. Unless, of course, he goes to Barcelona, I suppose, but... <laughs> there is that possibility. There is Esteban Cambiasso. He's really not had very limited opportunities this season, but he's um, held in there, he's done a defensive job, and his distribution has been good. Huh? Yeah, it's been very good indeed. Certainly, Guti is great when you're attacking, but he doesn't defend very well. El is great when you're defending, but his distribution's not so great. Cambiasso seems to have given a little bit of both. Yeah. No free kick Cambiasso there. is a good partner for David Beckham. Cool. We saw Luis Enrique warming up for Barcelona. And yeah, that would be very interesting if he was still on the pitch. I think he will do as well sooner or later, is Another probably another player who will be his last Madrid Barca yeah. and he's gonna want to give it everything. Former Real Madrid player, of course, Luis Enrique. Never really won the fans over here, but he's deeply loved by the faithful in the camp now. He certainly is, and there's Patrick Cleaver to uh I'm quite surprised to see him, but. But the way things are going, maybe Barcelona feel they need an outlook. Someone they can hit long. Just hold the ball. Saviola's struggled to get into this game, partly because I think Madrid have done such a good job on Xavi and Ronaldinho. Yeah, and, and, and Madrid have played very, very, very deep as well, which, is, which has been very important. Here's Figo. Luis Figo doing well, Luis Figo. Turning David, but David's recovering, showing all those battling qualities. That means he hasn't actually lost a game, a Primera Liga game, since he came to Spain. That's not a bad cross from Beckham. Just Amazing, looked as if that it? was going to curl away from Valdez, but Valdez got in there. Yeah, he's just saying about Edgar Davis, it's an amazing record. It really is. Poor clearance, though, from Valdez. Madrid very definitely on top. You almost wonder if it's just a matter of time. Here's Zidane. Oh, Valdez! Well, what a clearance! Cambiasso! Figo! Valdez! Oh, no that's way. Way. That is brilliant from Victor Valdez! Well, I have to say, we've questioned him, but he's pulled off two saves there, Victor Valdez. <laughs> that have been out of this world, still not clear. Solari, and there it, oh, is. There it is! Santiago Solari, the player we the looking We say he's always a substitute, but there he is. Harsh and Valdez have pulled off two magnificent saves, but they didn't clear the lines, Barca, and there, Santiago Solari. Well, Paul, time and time and time and time again, we talk about the Galacticos, everyone talks about them, they are fantastic players, but how many times have we seen Santiago Solari rescue this side? What a player this guy's. I've got to feel sorry for Victor Alves. He pulled out two absolutely saves. Maybe three absolutely stunning saves just before that. He could do absolutely nothing from that shot from Santi Solari. So, I think the game deserved that goal. And I think if anyone did deserve it, it was Real Madrid. Absolutely, it was. Let's have a look at this. Short corner, not cleared, goes off Zidane's stomach, I think, and there is Solari, and there's nothing Valdez can do about that one. No.
through a crowd of players. Ashley goes through Van Bronckhurst, Puyol, and I think Koku. And there's really nothing Valdez can do. So now Barca, they've really got to show their spirit now. 54 minutes here in the Santiago Bernabeu. Luis Enrique. And there is Luis Enrique. Maybe that's why there's whistles. I think that probably is exactly why there's whistles. I think they've seen him. And what will that do to Madrid's confidence as well? They've played well, they've looked good, and they've got the goal that their chances have deserved. Yeah, absolutely. And it's... Now it's Barca who have to force the pace, and that could be very dangerous against Madrid team who have been looking decent when they played on the break. All game, Oof. Raul and Ronaldinho, and I think Perez Burul decided he tried to play the advantage and then penalising Raul for that jump against the number 10. Yeah, he's also made a gesture to the bench. I think he, he wants he wants Barcelona to make the change now, but Barcelona have got on with it. So I'll have to make, wait a couple of minutes. David. Oof, obstruction there from Cambiasso. No, it was Beckham, I think. Beckham, oh, yeah. So many players were shaking their heads in the middle of the pitch. Terrible, wasn't it? At least when Beckham had nice long hair, you, you can, can pick him out there. easily. Here is Solari. It's Overmars. Mark Overmars steaming into the box. Not going to get that. Did he just... And it's a goal kick, and now Barcelona making the change. I think it's going to be a double change, actually. I think Kleiber is going to come on as well. Nope, Perez Burul say not this time. Barcelona wants to make the change, but I don't think the referees, yes, he is. But it's Mark Overmars going off, and Saviola. And Luis there's, Enrique. There's the reaction for Luis Enrique. Look at him. He if he's ever there's been a man who loves to wind up the fans, it's he is. Luis Enrique. He's not highly motivated, Luis Enrique, tonight, is he? Good Lord. And Patrick Kleiber. Slightly more serene, Patrick Kleiber. Luis Enrique loves to wind things up. I'm surprised to see Kleiber on so, he's so early. Yeah, I am. I am. But, but Savi others has got nowhere with the Madrid defence. They've marshaled him very, very well. So, tall chains in the Barcelona attacking line. We've got Luis Enrique on the right in midfield. Got Patrick Kleiber on in the middle. <laughs> well, the Madrid fans could not enjoy that anymore. Luis Enrique falls over and the whole place uh, erupts. They may not like him here, but I have to say, Luis Enrique, for me, has been one of the top Spanish professionals of the last 10 years. Oh, without a shadow of a doubt, Paul. Without any doubt at all. It's his last, he's 32, 33 now. It's his last season at Barcelona. Who knows if he'll go to Sporting King Honda Club where he started his career. But really, he's been an example, both at Madrid and at Barcelona, I think. Yeah. It's David's Barca having to force the pace a little bit now. So I'm really surprised what the other reasons. Anyway, and Broncos onside. And there, Patrick Kleiber. Goal! Oh! Well, would you believe it? Well, I'm staggered. There Luis I Enrique. <laughs> Look how much there Luis Enrique is enjoying this. There I was saying that... I was surprised to see Patrick Kleiber on so early, and he just goes and scores. And the Madrid fans are not very happy about that. Patrick Kleiber levels the scores, you've got to say, against the run of play, but here in the Santiago Bernabeu Stadium, Madrid went to sleep. It's Real Madrid won. Barcelona won, and that man, Patrick Kleiber, could he be happier? It was a lovely pass from Koku to set I think he thought about going for glory himself. Decides a little chick lob cross. And there is Patrick Kleiber heading into an empty net, to be honest. Seeing the way he played on Wednesday against China, that looked like the only side of the he was going to score. Is oh, this is incredible, Boy, This is incredible. I mean, Madrid really were all over. And I'll tell you what, hang on. Figo, good defending from Van Brancast. But, yeah, exactly. Well, my, oh, my. Look at Luis Enrique's face. Kleiber. Luis Enrique has never enjoyed himself so much in his life. Now the Barca fans up there, high, high in the crowd. They're also pretty happy with things. Yeah, not too many of them, but th Stop. those of them that are there are delighted. Not an easy place to visit if you're a Barcelona supporter. No, it's not. No, it most certainly is not. Well. Oh, my word, Paul. What? Five more minutes of absolute drama. Madrid taking the lead, and I really thought they would have run away with it. It's Xavi. He's got Luis Enrique outside of Luis Enrique. Oof, that wasn't a bad cross there. If there'd been someone just coming in in between behind those two strikers. Not a bad cross at all. As it is, there wasn't anyone walking in, running in, throwing for Real Madrid. Mitchell Salgado takes that. Perez Buru. Actually, as well as Perez Buru's shares a little bit, clashes a bit with the Barca colours. 
It's just a little bit difficult to spot and pick out. Just a little dark, isn't just it? A little bit, yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe a bit of wearing a yellow in the second half. Mitchell Salgado with the throw in. He's actually playing his 250th game in the Primera Liga, Mitchell, today. Started his career in Salamanca, playing in the second division, and he has played for Celta Vigo, who he made 92 appearances, and this is his 158th for Real Madrid. Here is Salari. He's got Roberto Carlos outside him. That's not a bad cross, just a little bit deep for Zidane. Zidane and Davids to chase that one, and it runs out for a Barca throw in. The game's just really opened up as well. I mean, at the middle of the pitch is, well, there's no one there. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, there's a motorway for them. Can be some mugging on Aldinho there, surely. Pérez Burol once again earning himself a few whistles from the crowd, but I think it's the right decision. I mean, yeah, no, I think you're right. I mean, as you say, I mean, if, if, if Ronaldinho checks his pocket, he'll probably find that cambiasso has got his wallet. <laughs> Because, I mean, it's one thing to block him taking the free kick, it's another thing to block him by pretty much standing on top of him, which is what he did. He's had himself a booking a there. Maybe a little un unlucky to get the booking, but uh, I think I think there's not too much doubt that Barca should get the, yeah. get the free kick again. Ooh, Ooh, that's that's a poor ball there. Beckham just robbed there by Davids and Puyol, making no mistakes with that clearance. Long for Kleiber to jump for. That is what Kleiber will give them, a bit of more yes. space, a bit more strength in the air. Luis Enrique, Ronaldinho, Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho going on the way, is he? That's a great and challenge. And that is a free, it's a free kick, Mitchell Salgado. Like, absolutely. You. That could even have been a penalty. I think it's a great no, I challenge. Think it's outside the box. It's I whatever is outside the box. But Ronaldinho, just first bit of real magic, his work tonight. Yeah. I, I Let's have a look at this. That's a foul. Cambiasso's isn't. Elgueras is a Elgueras foul. Elgueras is a foul. Like Cambiasso's isn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The referee's right. I actually thought that Cambiasso did really well. What I hadn't seen was that contact there. Yeah, yeah, it's Elguera. Um, but but Cambiasso did exceptionally well there. I thought Elguera's <laughs> not, not happy about the decision, but uh, I don't think he really have any complaints. Um, let's see how far back Mr. Perez Burul gets the wall this time. Um, Bass had a free kick in the first half, and I think the Madrid wall was basically about four yards away. Should be ten yards. Uh, let's see how far back he can have them. Well, if that free, if that ball's there, the play should all the Madrid players should be behind the penalty spot when he takes it. Yeah, they'll, they'll creep up, but um, at the moment they're in the right place. Ronaldinho once again concentrating, focused. That's a great, great shot. It is. It's even better in high definition. <laughs> Here he is, Ronaldinho. Got Luis Enrique in the wall, covering Ike Casillas' his view. Absolute tension here the in the tension, stands. The tension, tension in the commentary box as well as yeah. Ronaldinho. Luis Enrique saying, go on, hit it here, hit it towards me. Ronaldinho! Poor, oh, very, very the poor in the end. Yeah, very disappointing free kick in the end from Ronaldinho. But you won't be very happy with that I actually one. thought from there he should have been looking to hit it a little harder, as in fact, he's just, oh, he's just lifted that. He's yeah, lifted he got it way under it. Awful. To be honest, awful. It's not often you say that about Ronaldinho, but that was very, very poor indeed. Would have been a good kick in American football or rugby, but um, yeah. unfortunately... It's not the game this guy's playing. Unfortunately, the Santiago Bernabeu is a soccer stadium. And we are seeing one heck of a game of soccer at the moment. It's Madrid again, Santiago Solari, the goal scorer. Blocked for a corner, and Broncos. Well, to be honest with you, I thought Santiago Sol Solari put that off himself before he back it off himself and out for corner. But anyway, Beckham to take it. Beckham taking the corner, here he is, Beckham. And the dangerous corner, that is a great corner as well. Ronaldinho waiting for that ball to drop. Sorry, David's waiting for that ball to drop. Hitting it long to Ronaldinho. Mitchell Salgado, pressure. Can be oh, doing very well. Eh? That is very, very cool from Salgado. Magnificent. Once again, Can be doing well, and that's a lovely little ball for Beckham. Oleger just shielding it from Solari, doing well there on the edge of his box. Solari looking for someone, and uh, nobody making themselves available there to help Santiago Solari. Uh, Beckham made, made a late run, but Beckham has been the, the guy who gave him the pass in the first place. Shouldn't have been him that needed to get in there. It's Vigo. How on five. Good done, well done for Figo. Good cross, nobody in there on the far post. Luis Enrique just shields that one out, does he? Nivas no, has just brushed off his chest. 
<laughs> and the fans are enjoying it when Lewis Marika gets the ball. And I think he, he he's one of these guys who grows. Deep down in does as well. It's a good ball, it's a good throw, Zidane. Little rebound, that's not gone out, and that's no, still with Lewis Marika. Everyone, everyone sleeping, there's Figo. Against Van Bronckhorst, doing well, Luis Figo, as well as Van Bronckhorst, that's gone for a goal kick. I don't, know if the I don't know if the fans, there's a guy just taking his shirt off and disgust in the crowd. Yeah, it's pleasantly warm, but it's not <laughs> that hot. <laughs> uh, I think, I assume they're appealing for a handball, possibly might have been, I'm not sure that... Let's have a look. Nah, no I, way. I, I actually think that's underneath his armpit. Yeah, I, don't think, I don't think that can seriously be a handball. Uh, Pedro Pudo has actually done a decent job tonight. I, I think he's done quite part. well, yeah. A couple of decisions gone Barca's way, they could have gone Madrid's way. One yeah. or two the other way. Maybe, I mean, Barca can certainly not complain. Oof, a little bit of a knock there, perhaps, from Salgado over Ronaldinho. I'm, surpri I'm, I'm surprised that... That's a good ball from Cambiasso for Raul, eh? But it looks like a speculative sort of punt, but Raul's done well to find Zidane. It's just dropping behind Solari, but here's Roberto Carlos. Trusty left foot from Roberto Carlos, Raul going down, and I don't think there's anything there. No, I don't think there's anything at all. Uh, I was just about to say, I'm surprised that Ronaldinho hasn't looked to get away from Mitchell Salgado a little more. It's a great ball in there from Roberto Carlos. It's tantalizingly close to the diving Raul Gonzalez, but he just can't quite get there. And Carlos Queiroz breathing hard there. Both nervous looking coaches there on the bench. 60 minutes gone in the Santiago Bernabeu, well, almost 61. Absolute drama that you're watching on, on World Sports. It's Real Madrid, Barcelona in high definition, it's 1-0. It's absolutely frantic end-to-end -end football, and really living up to the billing. Here come Madrid again, Zidane. Lovely pass to Luis Enrique, but he's no longer a Real Madrid player, unfortunately, for Zidane. Xavi, Ronaldinho has just stepped inside a wee bit now. I think he was in orbit there. Good decision from Perez Purul and oof. A little bit of frustration there from Ronaldinho having a hack at Beckham. Beckham turning around on himself and this time on. A free kick from Madrid. Perez Purul just having a little word with Ronaldinho. Telling him to calm down, but I don't know how you can calm down at this moment, Sid. It's, a, it's racing, isn't it, this guy? Solari to Zidane. Zinedine Zidane, he's got Figo in acres of space. Here is Luis Figo. Looks up, maybe a bit deep, but I tell you what, danger in the far post and a corner for Real Madrid. Yeah, I think Barcelona have left Luis Figo far too alone in the last 10 minutes or so on this right hand side. And Broncos has pulled in almost as a third central defender. And with yeah. Ronaldinho not really tracking back as a left sided midfielder, Figo's been um, completely on his own. Yeah. As you saw then, Beckham with that corner, another good corner, Valdez! Oh, Tried to get there, Figo. didn't get there. Figo Figo's did. Very, Could very not good. direct that header between the posts. And Flats have a look at this. Beckham curls that one in there. Figo. Well, I don't know if Perez Burrell's given a free kick, actually, but um, Valdez doesn't particularly time that well. In fact, he has given a free kick. To Valdez, putting that one long. Tiber, not jumping. Still ball with Ronaldinho. Well, I'll tell you, there's been lots of criticism in the press about Esteban Cabiasso. I think he's been magnificent today. It's a very good game, Esteban Cabiasso. Considering he's not playing regularly, he looks very cool. His work rate's been up there. All credit to him, but all credit to this man, Carlos Cadus, for having the courage to pick him. Yeah, in a, a club where, where decisions are not always that easy to take. And, and Cambiasso is not a favoured man of the club as an institution, and Kados has had to be brave to pick him, particularly with a with club and the press leaning on him to, shall we say, make different decisions. Well, Perez Burul, well, Barca giving the ball away. Oof, that's a horrific <laughs> tackle from Frigo. I said that, that was a criminal. clash of two, two titans there. That is a horrendous tackle, and let's see what the referee's doing. There's a booking in there and for Figo's Luis Figo. been booked already, that's red. That's red, he was booked for complaining. Yeah. Well, I think he was. Figo was booked for complaining in the first half about the one that he thought went over the line. I'm pretty sure he was. Or maybe it was Raul. I'm... I well, don't I'll know. tell you, I thought Figo had been booked in the first half. I think he's lucky to escape with just a second yellow card there. With just a yellow card there. I think that's a horrific tackle if we see the chance to see that again. Maybe it's enthusiasm going for the ball, but I think if we get the chance to see that one, 
I think he goes for that. Figo is walking ball. It's taken away. Yeah, second. Oh dear. That isn't a yellow card. That should be a direct red card. That is a horrific tackle from Luis Figo. And he's been sent off for two yellow cards. I think it could have been a direct red. Yeah. It would not, I mean, to be fair, it's two yellows, but he went in there full speed, two feet ahead of him. Well, I don't know, I mean, as I said, at the time, it seemed, it struck me as a two immovable, I mean, two, it was the, it was the irresistible force against the immovable, two of them went steaming in, Pujol got there first, cleared the ball with, 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 with real venom, actually, and Figo threw, studs up. I don't really think Figo has too much to complain about. As you say, it could have been worth a red card in itself. As it was, it was certainly worth a yellow. Oh, nice. and, um, and Beckham, Beckham shakes his head. But, but I think there is absolutely no question about that decision. I mean, well, I, I, I think you're right. Um, if Carlos Puyol is being stretched off the pitch, it just tells you how, how hard a tackle it was. Yeah. Um, and as I say, I mean, some of the, the strength of the challenge, the, the pace of the challenge, was also a, not just about Figo. It was about how quick Pujol was coming in. But it's Pujol coming in, clearing the ball with his laces. Figo coming through with his start-up, that's the difference. Figo doesn't look happy, stood in the tunnel watching this. I think Carlos Kane is also indicating that he'll be making a substitution, Madrid. Down with ten, down to ten men for the last 20 minutes of this game. Well, I'm sure there'll be some um, discussions about that in the papers tomorrow, but I really don't think... Well, the, the Ultra Sur, the, 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 end of the, the south end of the ground, just put up a banner pool that says, journalists, your images make a lie of your reports, your, your information. Well, which, tell just, that to uh, Carlos Puyol after well. that tackle from Figo. Oh, good cross. Oh, well done, Ika Casillas there. Great claim from Casillas. And Casillas clearing That's that. That's an amazing clearance. It's a brilliant clearance, oh, I thought for a minute yeah. Raul was going to reach that. And it's Puyol coming back on the pitch, but... Oof. Actually, he doesn't look that comfortable. I'm not surprised. That word, as I say, that was a horrible tackle. I mean, Eve Pujol is a powerhouse, more than capable of putting in pretty nasty challenges himself. Um, but I think you're right. I think I think, I think think the, the, the big issue there was Figo studs up. I think that's the real the, the real key. I mean, in any game, anywhere, even in the Bernabeu, in San Mames, in Manchester, in Wembley, in the park I play on a Saturday, if you go with two feet ahead of you like that, you're going to get booked. Yeah. And if you've already been booked once, Anyhow, Madrid trying to shrug off that numerical disadvantage there. Cambiasso giving a little um, reminder there to Xavi, and he's got to be a bit careful, Cambiasso. We've just seen been Salgado went to Ronaldinho in the middle of the pitch rather than saying it right back. Salgado has been asked to pick up Ronaldinho tonight. Xavi, spare man Luis Enrique. Good defending from Madrid, got men in the box, still not clear. Casillas having to clear that one with his foot, not with his hands. Obviously, considering that one a back pass, did well though, but did they closing down Luis Enrique? Yeah, they did, they did. I actually thought Luis Enrique was a little slow to make his pass, but once he'd not given it on the first opportunity, then, then Madrid did very well to close him off. Well, we've got one hell of a game in front of us. I mean, this has been a magnificent, tense, fast match all the way through, but now... Well, well we, we, we would just say how much space Figo was getting and how much damage he was threatening yeah. to do to Barcelona, and he gets himself sent off, so... Depends what Madrid do now. They, I mean, they really need the three points because they can't allow Valencia to get two-point gap if Valencia win later no. on tonight. I do, to be honest with you, Paul. I suspect Valencia won't win later on tonight. Foul there, Van Bronckhorst. I almost wonder if we might see this now. I'm not saying Solari necessarily dived there. Although he did seem to make the trying to pressure the referee. Well, I actually, I think pusher. he did dive. I think nah. he did dive. He made, made most of the push. But in any case, I think what we might see exactly is both sides trying to pre pressure the referee, trying to say, trying to make the most of the fact that there is a very tense atmosphere out there now. Well, again, doing well once again, forcing Raúl off. 17 minutes left in the Bernabéu. Absolute drama. One all. Real Madrid down to 10 men after Luis Figo sending off. Oh, what place is that? Which means, of course, that Figo won't be available for next week's game. In Acuruña, we won't be there. We'll be in the camp now for the Catalan derby as Barcelona entertain Espanyol. Espanyol who are really ball. coming in a thought for five minutes offside though. No, he's Here's, Luis now. Here's Luis Enrique. He's going to go all the way. Great tackle. Brilliant tackle there from Ivan Elguera. I think, I think was it Reitziger in the end actually? It is Reitziger. Brilliant tackle from Elguera. Barca must be ruining the absence of Luis Garcia at this very moment. He thought the, the injured winger would have stormed through there. That is a fantastic block from El Guerra. It is. 
I thought perhaps right to go at quick once Elgaro was sliding in, should have cut back and, look, and looked for Clive in the box. That's the difference between having a defender attacking and an out and out first choice striker. As it is, Barcelona have a free kick now, and Carlos Queiroz there, you see him Talking speaking to Guti. to Guti. Oh, Guti That's slightly would... surprising. Will he be replacing Cambiasa? It's a brave move if he does. Yeah, very brave move if he does. Or will he for this Raul one is pulling Pujol as they go for, go for that in the boxing. I mean, mile, miles before the free kick was even taken, seemed rather pointless. There's Pujol now. Well, he's getting whistled for the Madrid fans, but I don't really know why. All he did was get kicked. Oh, chance for break now, Beckham. Doing well, Davids and Reisiger using his pace to get across. Michael Reisiger forcing Beckham down towards that corner. Seems to lose his balance for a second there, Beckham, and he definitely lost his balance there. Landsman not giving anything. Now, well, I think... Now, I... Beckham getting all worked up in that corner. I think he's trying to say that Van Broncos stepped on him. No, he's, now he's saying something to the, the linesman. I think, I think bizarrely, I mean, Beckham, as he, as, he sprinted down, as, he, as he sprinted down the wing, he actually seemed to be running out of gas as if he was going to fall over of his own accord. I think, in a funny sort of way, he was quite pleased to have the contact so that he could go down. Yeah. Or at least he would have been I if think, he won I the think, foul. I think that is a little push there from Rice, going to be fair. And it is right in front of the linesman. We've got Guti ready to come on. It'd be quite interesting to see who the player uh, taking off is. Yeah, I mean... That can get a little bit... Oh, possi a little possibly Zidane if he's tired. I mean, Maybe even Raul to put Guti up as a number, as a centre-forward and give him a little bit more height in attack. Perhaps, I'd be surprised perhaps, if he did that. Be a bright, yeah, it would be a brave decision to do that. Who's Enrique to Xavi. Oof. Good block there from Cambiasso. For a second he used the hand, I think it was his chest, though. This game, we've really still only got, I've got ten men, but they're still not over by a long way. Great challenge tackle again there from from Elgera. Elgera. Great challenge. Xavi. I've just been one of Ronaldinho's most disappointing performances. Yeah, to has, be fair. We talked him up so much and really we're doing an excellent defensive job on it. Here he is now, Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho oh, using point. his strength, Ronaldinho. Great cross. Oh, oh, did he over miss? the bar. That was easy, almost as easy as the first one from Patrick Clivert. How did he miss Paul? Well, he hit it too high, Sid. Poor dear. And it is indeed Zinedine Zidane, I think, the player taken off uh, yeah, it is. It is, yeah. for Real Madrid. Yeah, he's fading in the second half, the Frenchman. Maybe that'll allow... Well, it'll be interesting to see if Raul drops into a deeper role or whether Guti just fits, fits in there. I think it looks like Guti's just going to fit in there. My guess is that, 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 that there's a little bit of fear about losing this, that Guti will play a little deeper. He's having a word with Cambiasso and with Beckham. I think he's in, suggesting to Beckham that Beckham goes right. Uh, and that and the Guti will play in the middle of Kamiya, so Beckham's going to drift a little bit further That right. would make sense with um, here, here Figo having been sent off. Exactly. And they have found space in the, and on the right, the second half of Madrid, at least before Figo got sent off. It's a poor ball from Van Broncos, the Guti collecting that one. Well, we were just saying that Ronaldinho had a poor game, they produced, produced a lovely bit of skill to get that cross in. Lovely Clive. bit of skill there from Solari, and he's got Beckham with him. Clive should have scored. David Beckham, good cross in the box, Puyol. Not a great clearance from Carlos Puyol. Nobody challenging Van Broncos. He's able to clear that, no pressure, it's Ronaldinho. We went from Guti, Luis Enrique. First time Luis Enrique's done well with the ball, actually. He's, he's been, his touch has been yeah, poor. Yeah, a bit slack, hasn't it? Here he is again, Luis Enrique's got Davids outside him. Looking for the run from Davids, Edgar Davids. A bit static, Barca. Yeah, what's Davids Shabby. doing on the left as well? Clivert. Patrick oh, nice Clivert. Still look, there's nobody really making themselves available for Barcelona no, here. There's no movement at all, it's bizarre. Reisiger. They're, they're pretty no much options. in the penalty area and no one's even moving. It's very weird. Will he have a third attempt, Reisiger at crossing? He's done quite well there, Michael Reisiger's picked out Ronaldinho, but nobody looked to help no, him No, not even Ronaldinho, that was really That's surprising. That's very slack from Ronaldinho as well. Easy for Puyol. The idea was nice from Cambiasso, though. It gets a bit of a groan from the crowd, but Cambiasso saw it early and went for it. One thing about it, I would say against Barca, in the context of this game, one all isn't a well, they deserve more maybe Madrid. But at least the draw puts Barca out of the title race. Oof! Oof. I don't think Casillas saw that until very late. No, it's got a little deflection. Yeah. I'm very, very surprised. Very Puyol. surprised to see. Robbie Camp Robin Solari. Now it's Puyol. Oh! Ooh, Oof, yeah. that's a horrible tackle from Solari. 
Oh, my God, this Bouillon is out. He's in the war zone. In the war zone. I think, I, I actually think, I mean, you're right, it was a very bad tackle from Solari, but Solari doesn't have a malicious bone in his body. I'm pretty sure that was just a misjudgment. Um, but poor old Carlos Bouillon, who's really, really been in the war zone. Um, I, I think that's what you call a professional trial from Santiago Solari, because Bouillon had a lot of space here. Let's have a look. Well, if it's, bad, if it's misjudged, it's very badly misjudged. Uh, yeah, it is. But I think it was more, it was more than a fail. Solari yeah. knew he wasn't going to get there. Made one last desperate attempt and, and, and well, effectively, as, as I say, didn't get there. Um, Barcelona surprised me in that last attack, how few people they put in the box, how few options they gave themselves. And, and it's really surprised me how far to the left Davids has played in the last yeah. 10 minutes or so. It's very, very weird. Um, there's just a little bit of spark gone out of, I mean, because Barcelona, surely you'd They think have gone on it having, like 110 having, miles an hour exactly. all game. But Absolutely. surely having got the equaliser, you'd expect them when they got a guy in the corner of the penalty like that. Everyone would be bombing forward, screaming yeah, yeah. for it. I want it, I want it. It hasn't happened, and it's very odd. So Ronaldinho van Bronckhorst. Ronaldinho. Good clearance from Raul Bravo again. Yeah, there's Koku coming in. Clive was a little unlucky not to reach that as well. It's got... The atmosphere has turned very, very tense. It's a bit nervous in here, it's isn't it? very nervy in here. Especially that's Figo said. Even Figo on the pitch, you could still see Wood Madrid winning it. Now oh, it's going to be difficult for them. Good corner. Well, honestly, I can still see Madrid winning it, Paul. Not a great clearance. That's up in the air. Van Broncos powers that one. Yeah, There's Puyol. Well. I bet he loves it every time he gets the ball now. Ronaldinho. Taking on Guti. Good work from Guti there. And Beckham back, helping yeah. out. Xavi have to be quick though. Roberto Carlos is catching Xavi there. David. Koku just a bit long for Koku, just takes him on his back. I think that'll allow him to keep it in. He's got Reisiger with him. He's crying out for a good cross. I really think Bash should be getting people into the penalty area a bit more. David, Madrid only leaving Raul up front. David, that's poor from David. And there goes Beckham. That's tactically very poor from Edgar David. He was the last man, and it really has allowed Madrid to break. Good run from Raúl, just on the edge of the box. Beckham, Puyol did very well. And Puyol just there, you can just game, see isn't it? that lack of the man there for Madrid. You know, they could have had that man coming in there on the far post. Now it's back Barca. Xavi, Luis Enrique, Ronaldinho in the middle. David's pulling up his socks. Ronaldinho. Kleibert. Okay, David's not really any width now in the Barca team. No. Making it easy for him to tighten them down and nobody in the penalty area. Kleibert, really the best option he had. Here's David. Was he offside? No, slips though. Salgado getting in another vital tackle. Now, they, they seem to be almost suffering a little bit from vertigo, Barcelona, yeah, yeah. at the moment, which is amazing. You'd think they would want to win well, this. I, I think... I, mean, I know it's, that, that obviously hurts. But I think David Beckham is a very lucky boy. Because I think it, teeing that ball up to thump it clear, I thought he put himself in much more trouble than he needed to. I don't know whether it was a foul, I think it probably was. But I think he's a little lucky to get away without David Beckham, although obviously he's, uh, he's been kicked for his troubles, but I think he put well, himself in a lot more three, trouble than he needed to. Three. I don't mean that's a foul. In I fact, it's a foul is the other way. You, the foul is the other way. Beckham booted uh, yeah, yeah, Bronco seems like to win that cleanly. Yeah. I think Beckham's a very lucky boy there. Luis Enrique robbing that. Hasn't got the pace that he used to have these days, decides to use Xavi. Xavi, Koku, Koku slows it down, plays it out to Reisiger. Xavi, all Barca, Madrid, you can see them in a the line of four there, the Madrid midfield waiting for the Barcelona attack so they can try and break it down and look for that break. That's a bit slack though, Van Bronckhorst in. No, he isn't, decides to go back to Davids. Seems to have learned the lesson, Davids, back to Koku. Davids, feel the tension in this ground. I, I, I sort of sense a bit of tension among the Barcelona players as well, though. Almost as if they, they don't they know what to do. They can't believe do it, yeah, exactly. Yeah. They're, they're attacking very surprisingly slowly, as if, as if there is a lack of belief. Maybe they are a little bit tired, maybe they've just given it everything for so long that they're feeling it. Here's Luis Enrique, good battling from Guti. Does well there, Guti. Throwing for Real Madrid. Motta. Thiago Motta now, I wonder if this is because Puyol is injured or whether they really want to be a little bit more attacking. I think Cocker will drop back a bit deeper. Oh, Motta we'll will go into the into the midfield role. And it has to be said, however, and Madrid are taking off Solari. 
Who's played very, very well. Very, tonight. very well again. And they're bringing on. I think that's is that Nunez on the far it looks side. Looks like Nunez to me from here. Um, haven't yet seen his number, but I think it's Nunez. The Nunez, it is Nunez. Well, he's a right-sided midfielder. Yeah, it is Nunez. Right-sided midfielder who can uh, maybe play a bit more of a defensive role. Well, yeah, I mean, it's interesting to see. Mate, I wonder if Kados might, might throw him on up front just to put a little bit of pace in. Well, yeah, it's a good idea as well. On the break, I mean... Well, there is Nunez with Raul. Raul on the ball. Doing well, Raul. Beckham supporting him. That's a great ball from Raul. No offside. Beckham storming into the box. Nunez looks up. Job is dropped for Beckham. Damn it. Desperate stuff. Here's Guti. He's got Mitchell Salgado outside here. Robbed by... Davids, but not cleared. Van Bronckhorst now. Both teams are starting to make hard work out of this game. Ronaldinho. Once again, Ronaldinho looks slow there. Yeah, he did. He looked very sluggish. Here's, here's Beckham. Here's Beckham. Great Raul's in acres of space. I think he was offside there, Raul. No, he wasn't. Play on. Now it's Madrid who are in the ascendancy. This is incredible with five minutes to go in the Bernabeu. That should be easy for Valdez, and it is bravely there. Now is a chance for Barca, it's four against four. And I can tell you, Real Madrid, Real Madrid's managers are jumping up and down over there. It's just incredible, the nerves and the tension. The Barca just seem to be doing everything in slow motion, that's yeah, the amazing they've thing. They've allowed to get two more players back is Ronaldinho. He's onside, I don't believe it. Oh, I don't believe it! To Barcelona. What a pass from Ronaldinho, that is incredible! Santiago Bernabeu Stadium. It seemed as if they were playing in slow motion. But there was Xavi with that flick over Ica Casillas. It's Real Madrid 1, Barcelona 2. And the league is in Valencia's hands at the moment. This is incredible, Paul. I can't believe what we are seeing here. This game has gone backwards and forwards. Backwards and forwards all game. It's been absolutely incredible. A second, just a second ago, David Beckham put in that an amazing cross. Raul was free on the far post, just a fraction too far. Raul could make it. Barca came up the other end. The two of us said to each other, they, they were they, going they're too playing slowly. too slowly. They, and then suddenly, Ronaldinho, who appears to have been disappointed all match, pulls out an incredible scoop pass from nowhere. Everybody seemed to stop. I think maybe Xavi thought he was offside. Maybe Madrid thought Xavi was offside. Here's that pass. A little flick oh, from Ronaldinho. What a Xavi goal. Outside of his foot, but it's still not over here. I'll tell you, it's not over. <laughs> this is not over. I mean, some Madrid fans are leaving Paul, but I think they're mad. I wouldn't be at all surprised. That's an incredible flick from Ronaldinho and Xavi. That's a great incredible finish. finish. And it just bounces tantalizingly there. Yeah, Raul Bravo just, just whacking it into his own net, just couldn't reach it quick enough. And this is, this is absolutely incredible. We've got three minutes of normal time left in the Santiago Bernabeu. It's Real Madrid 1, Barcelona 2. Madrid 1 in Barcelona and just before Christmas on the 6th of December. Can our Barcelona on the point of turning the tables, putting themselves within four points of Real Madrid? And so throwing the, 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 nerves, the nerves here are incredible, Paul. I mean, we were, so we've been saying it for 20 minutes or so. Open. I mean, the, the whole game's been wide open, and it's still wide open now. You almost wonder, I mean, I'm sure Frank Rijkaard must be looking at this, screaming to himself and his players, just close up, just close up. And both sides have been very, very open all game. If there are any, any members of the world sport audience thinking about going to make a cup of coffee Do or, not or get an go extra beer from the anywhere. Fridge, I wouldn't I'd advise you to stay stuck for a couple more minutes. I tell you, this is absolutely... Paul, we, we're, get, we're watching better and better matches every week. This has been exceptional. That's a good free kick. Valdez! I tell you, I tell you there, is, there is nerves now all over the ground. Every chance I think is going in now. <laughs> Every chance I think is going in. This is amazing. It's an incredible second half, really, because it's Madrid started fabulous. well. They got the goal. The game looked theirs for the taking. I think that's a free kick, it is indeed. And then all of a sudden, Barca got a goal from nowhere, and the game has just become... Look at the shot total. 76 for Real Madrid, 13 for Real Madrid. For, Bar for Barca, just lost all shape. It's no, completely they're all, open. They're all over the place. It's an incredible I mean, it's... game of football. I'll tell you what, if I was Luis Figo, Figo in the changing rooms, I'd be looking at myself in the mirror about that tattle. Yeah, I'd be kicking myself almost as much as I'd <laughs> kick <laughs> um... <laughs> Puyo. <Puyo. Yeah. laughs> Nunez penalised for the foul there. On I, think that's, I think that's a very poor decision. I mean, I think I don't Nunez think is very. Un... A good I, think, I think Nunez is, is is very very unfortunate there. Nunez, um, currently studying a law degree. I mean, <laughs> that's good. Not too many footballers. 
I mean, there might be Conte. I think he's a bit. I think he's a bit halfway down before. Yeah, I think Bank Broncos is pretty much already on the turf. This is absolutely amazing. Ooh, offside there against Clyde. Not so sure. I think it just was. Frank Ryback and Clyde guys isn't so sure either. Neither is Patrick. No. Well, those two were never going to be sure, but I wasn't quite so sure. We're into that last. There is no time to breathe here. This is amazing. Right. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness! I thought for a second Valdez was way out of position there, just off his line. Raul got the header on it. That's two chances we did have had in the last two minutes. I think that was Cambiasso's pass as well. I mean, he's had a really, really good game coming. Off Ronaldinho. Lovely touch. Just Ooh, outside Luis Enrique. Okay. This time Once he's again, right. Just the yard. This up. time he's right. How much would Luis Enrique My goodness. enjoy it if this game finishes like this? His last game, his last Madrid Barca. Clybeck strolling offside. I thought Ronaldinho was thinking about shooting, and I think Casillas was as well. Casillas went sprinting back to goal line. All of a sudden, Ronaldinho's come to life. Yeah. I tell you, it hasn't been his best game, but that pass. If I just look up the linesman, the fourth official saying three minutes of injury time. So if you can hold on for another three minutes. He's through. He's not going to make it, though. Just a bit far away from him, and he can see us. Wasting no time sending that ball through. We're into injury time. What's amazing, Paul, is that Barcelona are winning 2 1. Madrid are pressing. And yet, when that ball went long to Raul, they only had one defender back there. Yeah, strange. They're a man up. Tactically, they should have about 55 defenders. The tactically, this game's been a nightmare for it's the last few incredible. minutes. There goes Ronaldinho. Ooh, Ron Is he can too you quick? go all the way through? Ronaldinho! 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 Oh, has he's put it missed wide. it! An incredible end to this game. And he's still smiling about it. I don't think he's smiling, but he'll find an equaliser. Just see the pace there. If, if we did find an equaliser, he'll be very, very disappointed. And I, I wouldn't put it past Paul. This game, anything. Oh, that's a great challenge. Storming tackle from Motta. Think should it's here's Motta now. Thiago Motta. This game is immense. And Beckham's going for him. So bravo. Well, that's the right ball from Motta. I, I don't think. understand why Cliver didn't push himself further up. To be honest. Indeed, I think that's the right decision. But there's nobody there in support. Cliver really should be fresh enough to chase the end of that ball. Taking away the injury time. Real Madrid really up against it. Can this be their, not only their second home defeat of the season, but their second consecutive home defeat? Uh, well, I don't think it will be. I think they're going to score. I really do. It's been one of those games. Well, Raul wide. Cloud appealing for penalty. I think it hit him on the, on the stomach. My goodness, Paul. My goodness. What, what absolute what, what drama. drama. What tension. I mean, my God. As they would say in Barcelona, Total Camp es un clam. They certainly do say that. Total Camp es un clam. Yeah, the whole camp is a clamor. Everyone's excited. No, I don't think it's a foul. Nah. Uh, uh, nah, it's, it's, um, it's his stomach. I'll tell you. So Madrid, could their last two home, home results, could they cost them the league title? Still not over. It's not over. Look how open they are still. I mean, this is incredible. It's incredible that, that in this kind of situation, the game of this importance, that they're still both... A, it's... Yeah, it's Barca wide open. It is wide open. But Barca must think that they can score another. That's the whole. I, I, just, I don't but, pretend to understand what the players are thinking, to be honest. No, 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 no. Why? I mean, this is. With about half a minute left in injury time. Here's Ronaldinho. Might he go for the game? He might, you know. He's seen Luis Enrique. Clever pass. Luis Enrique, who must be really enjoying this. Time ticking away. Madrid needing that ball, of course. If they're going to score, they equalise that. Going for Barca, I'm sure Barca would be very, well, Paul, there very, is about very happy. 15 seconds left if the referee sticks to those original three minutes. He's looking at his watch See now, no reason why he shouldn't. Xavi, taking those second stick away, that looks like a free kick. It is indeed. Is no, no plan. Oh, what a bit of skill that was! And there, there ladies it is. and gentlemen, My goodness. the final whistle, Luis My Enrique goodness. kicks the ball up towards the Barca fans in the stand. The final score here in the camp now, and how happy are those Barca players? It's Real Madrid 1, FC Barcelona 2. What? Real Madrid had the chance to go back on the brim at the top of the table for a league, well, even if only for two hours. They've lost at home, they've lost the big classic against their most bitter rivals. I'll tell you. Real Madrid 1, Barcelona 2, incredible.